What's up, YouTube friends? Today, we're gonna to be digging into the Fox Park development and the World Trade Center complex that's underway on the north side of Denver. And we're gonna be digging into what the development includes, what the timeline is, and how that's gonna impact the area around it. So stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Joe Saplis. I run a real estate team here in Denver. And if you find anything valuable in this video, just click that like and subscribe button below. It really helps me out. And then if you're interested in having a call with me, you can also book that directly via the link in the description below as well. So Denver has a lot of big developments that are underway right now. And one of those is Fox Park and the World Trade Center complex. Now this development is gonna be 41 acres and it's gonna have a mix of cultural, retail, hotel, office, and residential spaces all included in this development. Now, all of these spaces are gonna be interconnected by 14 acres of parks and open space. So it's gonna have this really walkable, livable community as part of it. The Fox Park development itself is gonna be located right at the intersection of I-25 and I-70, and it's just east of the Sunnyside neighborhood. So it has a very easy access to some of those main key highways of Denver, and it also has a pretty straight shot to the Denver airport if you just head straight east. There's also a transit station nearby at 41st and Fox, and so there'll be public transportation that's easily accessible from the Fox Park development as well. Now, one of the cool things about this development from a design standpoint is that it's actually integrated into the hillside. And so there are going to be different tiers of the park, as you can see from some of these pictures here. And it's also gonna have underground parking so that parking doesn't eat into the livable space at all. There's gonna be four total phases of this development. Each phase is going to roll out different elements to the community. So phase one is gonna roll out and it's gonna include essentially everything but a grocer. And so you'll see here, this is where we're talking about that mixed use and mixed living. It's gonna have office, retail, it will eventually have grocers, athletic clubs, apartments, hotels, and then a cultural and events center. But when it's all said and done, you'll see there's gonna be almost 2 million square feet of office space, around 300,000 square feet of retail space. It'll have the grocery store, it'll have two athletic clubs, th almost 3,500 apartment units, around 50, 520 hotel rooms, and then almost 50,000 feet of cultural and event center space. So it's, it's gonna be a huge space that just has a lot of different features and offers a lot of different things from a functional standpoint. So from a timing standpoint, Fox Park is still in the preliminary development stages. They were going through an EPA environmental cleanup at the end of 2023, and then in Q1 and Q2 of 2024, so right now, they're going to start infrastructure improvements for phase one. This is going to include establishing roads, utilities, public spaces, but all by the end of 2024. And it's also gonna include breaking ground on a few of the key buildings, which are the World Trade Center Complex, Virgin Hotels, and then a couple of the residential buildings. Now, completion dates can be a bit of a moving target at times, but it sounds like the goal is to have uh, these open late 2025 or early 2026. And so we'll definitely have some more updates for you guys as this progresses, um, just to see how things are coming to life. And as far as what this means for real estate in the area, I think there's a lot of positives. This development is turning an area that isn't in use right now into a really valuable asset by having office spaces, cultural and entertainment spaces, more residential units, uh, which is something the city of Denver is very short on, all of this can positively impact the value of the area and the homes around it. If you have any questions or would like to learn more, feel free to reach out to me via the link in the description. Other than that, we'll see you on the next video. Bye.